Hey yeah. Yeah, it's me again. Here to talk to you about something that came to me today. So, uh, <clears throat> me and my friends were sitting there. We're just, you know, talking away. Don't remember what we were talking about. It's probably really random. But, uh, and my friend was telling me how there's a new label, or whatever you want to call it, a new stereotype. And so I was like, oh, whatever. And she's like, it's when you dress emo, you know, when you've got, like, an emo over, or you wear black nail polish and stuff. So I was like, okay, what's this called? And she said it's called Scene. What? Are we talking scene like S-E-E-N? Like, I see you. Are we talking scene like S-C-E-N? Pretty much just gonna like walk down the hallway now, sitting there with my friends, and gonna be like, oh my god, that person is so seen. And they're gonna be like, what? And then I'll start laughing and they'll be like, what the hell is she talking about? You know, I've decided it's okay if people label me, but I'm just sitting here thinking, you know what? Label. Isn't that something you put on a can of soup? Now I'm being compared to a can of soup. Whenever I hear can of soup, all I can think of is alphagettis. I hate alphagettis. Or like mushroom soup, or am I... I want to get... I want to buy a label now that says chunky soup and just stick it on my forehead and be like, yes! I am labeled Chunky Soup. So if you want to call me like punk or rock or emo or prep or whatever, I don't really care because I know that I'm not a can of soup, so I don't exactly like have anywhere to put a label. You're going to put a label like on my forehead or so. I know it's not supposed to be literal or whatever, but honestly, label, come on, who does that anymore? I just realized I do a lot of air quotations.